In 2016, Measure K was passed, the Board of Trustees providing the district with the funds to build two pools for the Kern County High School District to use. But some teams are unable to practice there and upcoming meets cannot be held there because of these repairs. 23 ABC's Imani Stevens joins us live in studio with the reaction from the district and coaches from local swim teams. Imani. Yeah, Alex, the Kern High School District recently opened its aquatic complex, a facility built to host up to eight teams in water and fit about 700 spectators on the stands. But today, crews were draining out the water out of the pool to complete repairs. And the district said the company that installed the pool are doing those repairs free of charge. Typically, the water would be inside of the pool. But crews are draining the pool at the recently built Kern High School District Aquatic Complex on Old River and Berkshire Road in Southwest Bakersfield. It's the first pool the district has built in 100 years. But the company that installed the pool had to come back out. The district says they first had to drain the pool and then repair unrounded edges on pool walls. I'm just amazed that there has to be repairs at the center. I'm sorry that it happened because it affects greatly the teams that are there, plus all the teams that are going to compete this weekend and the practices. In 2016, Kern County voted to pass Measure K, which allocated for construction in the school district. The Board of Trustees directed the district to set aside $20 million to build up to two pools. And according to the district, the aquatic complex did not go over budget. The district says the aquatic complex was about $14 million to build, leaving $6 million left over to build a second pool near Centennial High School. But that second pool has not been built yet. We spoke to Jan Graves, a swim coach and trustee on the board for the district over the phone. And she says she's sure they're going to have to raise more money for the other pool. This is a top-notch uh, swimming um, complex and it costs a little bit more money than expected. And so we wanted to build a, a good one and so we did. And the next one will be just as nice, and I'm sure we'll have to raise funds or uh, uh, to make sure that we get an, a, a pool that is of equal quality. But the district tells us they didn't want to build two pools at the same time and wanted to see what went well and what could be changed for a second pool. But these repairs could interfere with practices and upcoming swim meets. I feel it should be up right now because it kind of messes with all the schools who have to practice there because we have to move them to other places because I believe they'll probably have to go to McMurtry, but that's already packed with three other schools at the time. So it's kind of just upsetting for the swimmers. While the second pool has not been built yet, the district says they are evaluating how much another pool would cost and exploring multiple options such as design. The aquatic complex built to host up to eight teams in water and fit about 700 spectators on the stands will be empty until the repairs are made and the center reopens. According to the school district swim schedule for 2020, the next swim meet to be held at the aquatic complex will be March 18th for diving and a swim meet on March 19th between Independence High School and Bakersfield Christian High School. Reporting live in studio, I'm Imani Stevens, 23ABC News, connecting you.